The most important thing for EU is that it's delivered for its citizens. And that should be in all areas, in jobs, in climate, in growth, uh, and in the everyday life. Well, concerning the multi-speed Europe, uh, Sweden thinks that we already have a multi-speed Europe in some uh, aspects. Some are members of Euro, some are not members, some are members of Schengen, some are not members, some are members of Home and, and uh, Security, some are not members. So that is not a big deal. But we think for EU to develop the most, we should try to keep together as much as possible. So we don't want it to be uh, something that happened in all issues, that you in all issues ask uh, who will go first, who will go later. The Swedish policy priority is first a social or Europe for growth and jobs. Second, uh, a Europe with climate, energy and environmental priorities. And thirdly, a Europe that is um, working with migration and a safer world. Uh, we think we can work a lot together with Ireland, but also with Germany and many other countries. Uh, actually, now when the UK is leaving, for Sweden it's important to find um, partners in many different issues where we have uh, formally worked together with the UK. And fortunately, I don't think that's a problem. Uh, for example, when it comes to the digital, single digital market, uh, we work together with the front runners of uh, digitization. We call it the D9. That's the nine most digital countries, including Ireland and Sweden. Uh, and I think that is a very strong group for both uh, looking to the future, but also push the decision to become more in a digitalized way. Ireland and Sweden's relationships are very, very good. We have been working together since Sweden became a member 22 years ago. Uh, and in many areas, we think the same of the development of EU, when it comes to free trade, when it comes to security, when it, when it, when it comes to jobs and growth. So uh, I think that we are already on a path that could only be better.